everybody! So today I wanted to do a video on something that has been a long time coming. I know that I have lost a lot of weight, as you guys have told me in the comments and everything like that, and I never did a video to address what exactly happened and everything. It's just because I don't really believe in glamorizing weight loss. I think everyone is beautiful no matter what. I thought that this video was a bit necessary just because I... I yes, I am proud of myself for losing that much weight. I lost around 12 to 15 kilos of pure fat and I wanted to tell you basically in this video what happened exactly and what I did to lose all that weight. All right, so let's wind back to yes, January, February, March, April, May, May. All right, um, I have always been a person that has been struggling with my weight. I've done all the diets. I did negative calorie diet, it has been quite popular back in the day. And I did all those things, which I am not proud of. But I guess in all my insecurities, it didn't really work. Like those diets never really worked. And I sound like one of those like weight loss books. I don't want to sound like that today. Like I, I gained a lot of weight in 2013 because I was suffering through a very sad moment in my life. I was very lost in terms of my direction of where, of where I wanted to go. I was fresh out of college and I was just like kind of building my makeup artist portfolio and everything like that and I just felt very lost. I also had a few family issues in the back end and it was just a very, very difficult time in my life. That being said, I use food as an entertainment, I feel. Like when I was bored, I would eat. When I was feeling sad, I would eat. I would eat anything I wanted. I would eat a lot of it. And I had mindless eating. I think that was more, more what happened. I gained a ton of weight and exercise at all. And it was just kind of like a weight that crept. You know what I mean? Like you just kind of don't notice it. And then you realize you're looking at yourself in pictures and you're like, wow, I've gained a lot of weight. And I'm sure you guys have noticed too from back in my days in Australia. So then I, yeah, so I was depressed about it again. Cause like you kind of just like tumble into this kind of like depression of, oh my gosh, you know, I'm gaining more weight. What am I gonna do? Am I ever going to, you know, it's not, it's not that, oh, you know, I thought I was ugly or anything like that. It was more like, it was more like, that was the only thing that I couldn't control in my life. That was the only thing that I I felt like I had no control over. I was scared for my health, I think, because I couldn't stop gaining. And I think like it, it's, a, it's one thing to plateau at your weight and one thing to keep on going up. And that, to me, I felt was very scary. You know, I don't want to talk to you about weight and the fact that, oh, you look amazing, you look skinny and all that. I don't care about that. It's just that the whole, can you imagine like, you know, you're gaining and gaining and gaining. You're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on a truck to gaining weight. You know what I mean? So anyway, I just, in all of this, I just wanted to thank God. One for helping me. So what happened was I did pray about it and I said, oh God, <laughs> oh God. Can you please like do something? Okay, if I'm not the weight that you've designed me to be, then help me change it. That's what I said basically. It was it was longer. It was more like <laughs> like you know like <laughs> keep gaining weight and stuff. Help me. But that was basically what I said. And crazy enough, a week later, like one of my, my one of my readers uh, actually uh, said, oh she works in a production company who does TV shows for Starhub Cable. And Starhub Cable is, Starhub is a really big um, company in Singapore and they do cable TV here. She had a TV show, it's called Body Reboot and I can finally talk about it. They didn't want me to talk about the show, that's why I had to private the video. I did mention it in my last like video in, May, in June or something like that. So I had to private that video because it is a TV show. And she had told me like, hey Roseanne, do you want to be on this? you know, weight loss TV show. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be on The Biggest Loser. I mean, who wants to be on The Biggest Loser? So I was like, uh, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think so. And then she's like, oh, it's a really like kind of an inspirational show. You know, like one episode is totally on you and like you, like how you feel throughout the thing and how you do it and all of these things. Like it's kind of like an inspirational journey kind of thing. And that kind of like 
resonated with me quite well and I decided to do it although I had my doubts I was kind of like oh I don't know and I thought okay let's do the TV show which is crazy enough because now that I think about it it was a job so I they did compensate me for my time to be honest I look back on it I'm like I wouldn't have had any other way <clears throat> I'm horrible like I I think God knows that I think he he knows that I have no self I'm kidding. Unless it's like a job. Like I'm very, very, I'm very thankful for all my jobs because I'm not in a stable kind of situation like 9 to 5. So I am really thankful for all my jobs and I take my jobs very seriously. I don't know if I'm going to watch it just because it's like, I don't know, I'm, I look horrible in there. I'm just going to be totally honest with you. I look absolutely horrible. I have no makeup on most of the time and I'm crying and I'm sweating and it's horrible so we'll see but yeah if you want to watch it you should watch it that's what happened all right so how I want to do this video now is that I want to split it into the two main things that help you lose weight number one is diet and the second thing is exercise for exercise I actually did CrossFit four times a week the gym Genesis gym actually put me on a program I did had to do circuit I don't know how I mean like like short little exercises so like burpees, pushing 50 kilos, it was legit crazy, like so, 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 so tough. I cry, I do cry, and in, I think I think possibly in, uh, in the show you'll see me cry, because it was like, my sweat, I sweated so much that, I sweated so much that my trainers thought I was crying, like legit, like I was just sweating like crazy. I fully recommend Genesis Gym just because, you know, I'm not paid to endorse them or anything, whatever, whatever, no, no, no. They helped me. They did help me uh, lose a significant amount of weight. All right, so let's talk about diet. So basically what you eat. Initially, I, I ate a lot. I, I have, now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, like all that weight I gained, weight I gained it was because, you know, I did, I did that. <laughs> I, I take full blame for that and I used to eat tons I used to eat McDonald's I used to eat like ice cream all the time waffles brownies and my body gains weight very very easily so eating those things not a really good idea for me if I wanted to lose weight so I knew I had to change something and that they gave me actually told me to stay away from carbohydrates basically adopt the paleo diet which is basically eat eat as much meat as you want as much meat as you want or a good a good serving of meat and don't eat much carbohydrates dairy products or sugar I think the most important thing in diet is that you change your mentality about food you change the way you see food that is very important you can go on any diet any diet but a diet has a start and it has a finish and once you finish the diet, you're going back to your regular diet, which is wrong because how your body does it is that it adopts basically the diet you're eating. And if you stop it and you go back to the normal diet, it will go back to that weight. That's what I always tell myself. Even though we eat tons over Christmas and New Year's, we go back to our regular diet, which is hopefully less, and we go back to our to our normal weight so it's really just how you see food that was that I that became the most different for me it was so 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 tough in the beginning guys I have to be very honest with you Staying away from carbohydrates was tough but the most toughest part for me was staying away from sugar I love sugar I realize how much I love sugar chocolate even just fruit I couldn't eat fruit for two weeks or I tried my hardest I couldn't even do that I, I'm not saying that this is easy whatsoever. It's definitely not. And I suffered a great deal. Just just actually just pausing for a moment and really just thinking about my decisions in my life and just be like, oh, you know, like, it's so difficult. Like, I just want to, you just want to eat it, but you can't, you know what I mean? So it was really hard and really tough. But it's about at the, it really trained me, like, I ate so clean that it really trained me to really see food differently and to, to, because you're not eating all that sugar and because you're not eating all like the McDonald's and stuff things aren't it, it just feels like it's not as fun anymore there we go 
it doesn't feel as entertaining anymore. So I, I saw it, I didn't see it as fun and entertaining anymore because I couldn't eat those things. And I did that for three months, so I, it became a habit. So I, I, I started to see food less and less as an entertainment because it wasn't entertainment. Healthy food, although some can be delicious, isn't that delicious, you know what I mean? So I have to look at other forms of entertainment like traveling and all of these kind of things to, to form my entertainment rather than food because I, I don't eat junk food anymore. I don't eat cookies, I don't eat chips and that kind of thing. So because of that, it really helped me change my entire mentality about how I feel about food. And I think that is the number one thing that you can take for the rest of your life. To see food as fuel, not as entertainment. And to see it as, and to listen to your body. I think that's, that's another uh, lesson, is to listen to your body. Your body actually tells you when to stop eating. And it actually tells you if something is too sugary or if something is too fried and fattening and and all of these things it tells you because it doesn't like those things actually if you think about it we probably weren't designed to eat those things like pop tarts and pixie sticks and all of these things we weren't really designed to eat those are all chemicals and it's all sugar so he actually tells you that so right as of now I know this video is kind of messy just because like my thoughts are flying in everywhere and I didn't want to like stage this in any way so um, I, I'm gonna jump to jump and whatever but hope you guys can follow. Basically what I did, what I did eat during the, the three months, in the morning I would have yogurt so I still have yogurt. I have, um, it's called Danone, extra creamy Greek style yogurt. I eat that, it's full fat, doesn't matter and I stayed away from carbohydrates so so for, I could eat tons of meat. I can eat free flow meat if I wanted to. It didn't make me gain weight at all. And I think it's because I am an O type blood type. I don't know if you've heard of the blood type diet, but I am an O, which means I, it says like I can eat tons of meat and like not gain weight, but if I eat carbohydrates, I'm screwed. Language. And yeah, so I mean for lunch, I would have like a half a chicken, easy. For dinner, I would have like soup. I had a lot of soups. In the hawker center, I would buy like, my okay you know in the food court in singapore it's like lot of, lots of tiny little stalls and for the longest time i thought it was impossible to eat healthy in singapore but i realized that it's actually not too bad you just have to stay away from carbohydrates so for example there's this like stall that sells usually a lot of little dishes so um, you can choose the dishes to form a plate of food and I would just choose the vegetables and the meat and the egg and the tofu. But then I would tell them I don't want any rice with my food. I would eat that for lunch or dinner. I would have soup. So you know the Chinese soups with like boiled pork and boiled uh, what, pear, fig, that kind of thing. I would, I would have that. And you realize that after eating all these things, I really impressed myself in a way that like, I didn't know that I didn't need so much food actually. I d actually don't need that much food. You step back and you're like, hey, you know, I didn't, I didn't really need that, you know? I didn't really need that sugar. I didn't really need that rice. I didn't really need that, those chips. And, and I'm still functioning well. I'm still awake and even more energetic. I feel even healthier. So now things are much more different. After three months, I'm forming a habit. Like for example, if I drink like juice with sugar in it, I can actually taste the sugar. It's very sweet to me. Senses have heightened and I can't even finish that because my body's telling me don't drink that because it's full of sugar. I think the biggest lesson learned is that now I listen to my body. If it's telling me to stop eating, I stop eating. And number two is that I am more discerning about my food choices. My body says that's too much sugar, don't finish that. I won't finish it. Number three is that I don't see food anymore as an entertainment. It's no longer entertaining because it's it was it's no longer that delicious. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. And that has trained me to see food differently, and I see it for the rest of my life, which is crazy. And it's a I don't want to. I think that like you know, all those like weight loss books and and whatnot are are cool and stuff like that I guess but I think that's all you kind of need like to lose weight you kind of 
just have to have the discipline and a lot of us are lazy I, I you know I'm lazy as well but I guess it's a choice that you have to make I think everyone's beautiful no matter what size they are but if you want to make this step for your life if you want to do it do it you know what I mean um, I did it um, I wanted to yes and you have to find a discipline or, or the drive to do it I think I reckon I think what's important is that people love you for who you are not for who you look like and it can be so easy to be blinded by that nowadays it can be so easy to be looking through the magazines and looking at all the celebrities and everything like that and being like hey I'm not that size so therefore I'm not beautiful but that's wrong that is wrong that that's a that's a wrong mentality uh, you are beautiful no matter what. If anything to do with losing weight, it would be because you are concerned about, you know, what's going to happen later in life. Am I, am I going to be able to, to do, you know, function properly? You know, am I going to be on a hospital bed? You know, am I going to be very, very big that I have to be bedridden? Those kind of things I think concern me the most rather than rather than losing all the weight and I think ra rather yeah rather than looking nice you know and um, even in my industry and in blogging and everything like that it's so difficult like one of the key key reasons why is because I kept comparing myself to all of these people and I, I wasn't as skinny as them and I wasn't as I don't know I wasn't as like yeah I just wasn't as skinny as them and and they and they took like OOTDs all the time and and I remember like when I went on like a trip to Boracay with like some blog like a lot of the bloggers and stuff like that I I felt really sad because everyone was like flouncing in their bikinis and everything taking like tons of OOTDs in it I was like the most overweight one I remember and like all I did was like just take pictures of my face <laughs> um, and just kind of sit in a corner while, while they all like OOTDs which is fine you know that's fun and fine and and whatever I mean we do what we want to do you know what I mean but I remember you know I remember being sad about my weight so I remember that um, but I realize I realize now um, after that difficult period of time that we are all made different for a reason, no matter what size we are, we are all made different for a reason. God doesn't make us to be like a size, everyone a size two, I mean, what's the use of that? Or or doesn't make everyone feel like playing the trumpet, you know, what's the use of that, you know? And, you know some people can play the trumpet, some people can play the clarinet, some people can play the saxophone, you know, that's a band, there we go, you know? And then number two is I, I realized that, um, I guess, that, but that we can actually be known for, known and loved, known and loved for what we do in life rather than what we look like. Okay, that, that's really important because I realized that I was really blessed because even though I remember being overweight, people... People like the most overweight one like people people all knew I mean I was gaining weight like so fast and people all knew um, you know that I had problems and stuff like that and and I just so blessed because people still still wanted me to to attend their events still wanted me there still wanted my company um, my boyfriend still loved me even though I was very I was quite large already and I realized that I was blessed to be loved and known for what I've done in this world rather than what I look like, what I look like you know? I think that's really important because I think it's more important to accomplish things in your life rather than, rather than just like looking nice. Does that make sense? Like, I think it's... I think it's more important to be known and loved for what you've done on this earth and what you've helped and contributed on this earth rather than I don't know getting a shaky voice uh, looking nice so yeah <clears throat> yeah so so I think I think that's the most important really I hope that we can all 
grow to be a generation that does a lot of things, accomplishes a lot of things, and we're known for those things. I, being large didn't change anything. Being large didn't, didn't uh, affect me as much because people knew me for how I helped them some way, like how I help them with makeup, you know? And I think that that is really invaluable. That's something that I really came to understand. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. I really hope you like it. And number one tip is change how you see food. Lessen the load in carbohydrates and, and uh, train yourself not to eat so much junk food because I know that we are, we, we're not supposed to eat all that stuff anyway, you know what I mean? Regardless of whether we're trying to lose weight or not. And yeah, so I really hope you like this video and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.